Holy fuck, this is itchy as fuck. How did Joe do it? I don't know. Let's get funky. Hi guys, welcome to my own opinion. And in this video series, what I do is I try to hit a thousand subscribers. I'll try to get 10,000 views. And I will also get the beer community to rise up. Rise up and make all that YouTube monies. I also like to troll. And anyway, I was just joking, Dan. Um, what I like to do in this video series is I'll take a beer. I will open it and I will smell it and I will tell you whether I like it or not. So without any further ado, here is the beer of the day. Yes, guys, today from Bench Brewing Company in Beansville, Ontario, we are drinking the 20 Mile Farmhouse Ale. Uh, they're located in Beansville, Ontario. You can catch them at uh, benchbrewing.com. Um, today we are doing, like I said, a farmhouse ale, which, you know, a lot of people don't understand what a farmhouse ale is. So I'm going to bring up this picture right here and I will talk about what a farmhouse ale is. Uh, according to the world of the internets, a farmhouse ale is not a single style of beer. It's actually a broader category of styles. You know what? It can be a, a saison, a beer de garde, a guez, or a sati. I hope I'm not butchering that. Uh, in general, a beer that falls under the farmhouse ale designation will have a bit of a funky flavor, kind of like a wet hay or earth. Yummy. It will also be tart like an unripened strawberry, even more yummy. Uh, it'll leave your mouth crisp and dry. Okay, uh, so that's uh, that's basically what we're looking at there for a farmhouse ale. Um, this farmhouse ale is brewed in the Saison style. Uh, this beer, let me talk about it for a second. We've got, it's coming in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. It's a 473 milliliter can and it's crafted in the escarpment. Um, on the back here, it just talks about uh, where they got the name. Uh, basically, it's just something, the 20 mile creek that runs through the escarpment. Um, it is says on the on the back here it says it's brewed in the saison style so it has the subtle notes of fruit and spice with a dry crisp finish so we are doing that um i also looked up online and over here it tells me that the ibus on this beer are 27. uh the yeast in here is a saison blend yeast the hops are ella and enigma the malts are bohemian pilsner uh, and canadian two-row wheat um there's suggested food pairings too on the internet it's crazy. They got, uh, you know, paired up with some grilled chicken, salmon, and oysters. Snot. Yeah, that's what that oyster is. But anyway, you know what? Some people out there might actually like oysters and, uh, you know, no harm, no foul, right? Anyway, let's get into the farmhouse ale, the 20-mile farmhouse ale from Bench Brewing. I'm going to open this over here so it doesn't kill my mic. There we go. All right, so here we go. Let's pour that in there. Yeah, I gotta figure it. it. Wasn't even an aggressive pour. Um, wow, that looks. You know, that's a very pretty color beer. That's a nice yellow. It's uh, transparent. Uh, not very transparent. It's pretty uh, hazy through there. Uh, came out with a nice. Uh, two and a half finger head. I uh, still got some in the can. Yeah. Um, let me see. Yeah, the frothy head. Good. Uh, it's like a very cloud-like head, I guess. Um, now let's take a smash. Actually, I'm gonna pour the rest of this in there. There we go. All right. Put that in the can. There we go. All right. So, like I said, it's, uh, it's hazy. It's a nice yellow, nice white head on there. Let's take a smell. Earthy? Yeah, I see that. Uh, there's a there's a little bit of a sour smell to that. Uh, maybe a little bit of a lemony pith or something. 
yeah, that's pretty much what I get out of this one. Let's take a sip, shall we? Let's taste it. Cheers. All right. Very carbonated. I just want to burp all day long now. Um, with that being said, with the taste on this one, there's some funkiness, and I've had I've had farmhouse ales and saison before and this isn't so funky as i thought it would you know possibly be yeah it did uh definitely drinkable uh wet hay no not really i get a little bit of a fruit in there it tastes lemony a little bit with a little bit of a pineapple taste in there i don't know if it's supposed to or not but that's what I'm getting out of that. Uh, the head faded pretty fast. Um, other than that, you know what? It doesn't leave a crisp, crisp taste. I guess. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. So, with that being said, from benchbrewing.com, or at Branch Brewing in Beansville, Ontario, Canada. The 20 Mile Farmhouse Ale, in my own opinion, it's good. Will I buy it again? I don't know. Probably not. But if somebody gave me this, say or I'm at a house party or, you know, doing whatever, will I drink it if somebody gives me that? Sure I will. But anyway, um, we're done with this one. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button down below. And I just burped. I knew I was going to. And don't forget to subscribe to On the 10th. And that was my own opinion.